Hi, Samantha Convoy from Highest Health Homeopathy. I have a new name, very excited. I wanted to share with you a video, an interview I did last year with Dr. Deb Davies. She's a mentor and um, doctor of Chinese medicine, and she specializes in helping women with pregnancy and birth and postpartum. And we had sat down and chatted about homeopathy and eating issues. And I thought, you know, new, new year, new uh, time of year when people are thinking about maybe making big changes or, or small changes. And I just wanted to share how homeopathy, the role homeopathy can play in eating issues, especially if somebody's having um, disordered eating and um, things of that nature. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, look forward to seeing you this year. Thanks. experience working with clients as a homeopath what are the biggest health challenge or challenges that you're seeing right now you know it's changed over over the time and especially now like um homeopathy can help with so, so many things and a lot of times people think of it as a for physical things like allergies or um injuries and things like that but it really has such a powerful effect on mental emotional um, states as well. And especially now I'm seeing a lot of um, mental health um, issues, eating disorders, um, or, you know, binge eating, disordered eating, just people really struggling in that arena. And um, homeopathy may not be the first thing people think of in when, when they're struggling with that, but it can definitely be like one part of, of the healing team that can really make a difference. And um, so that's just one thing I, one kind of big thing that I've seen really, you know, kind of take off, unfortunately, exponentially since, um, you know, everyone, the, the, the pandemic. Interesting. So yeah. that's interesting to say eating disorders. So like, what are some of the, some of the myths about eating disorders? Yeah. Well, first off that it's not a mental illness, you know, that it has, that it's just someone, you know, wanting to be thin or someone not being able to stop eating um, or, you know, there's different, definitely different kind of variations of it, whether, it, whether it's bulimia, anorexia, someone over-exercising. Um, but I think the myth is that, you know, that it's just, it's something that it's not has nothing to do with someone's mental wellness. And it really, really does. Um, or that it's something that, you know, someone, if they really wanted to stop, they could, you know, I just don't think it's seen in the light of, um, you know, being a mental illness and it, it really is. And um, so, yeah, I'd say that would be the biggest thing that I, that I would say. Yeah. How, how do you feel like homeopathy can help with uh, eating disorders? Like, how would you work with somebody like that? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, so with homeopathy, we don't always need, I mean, diagnoses are great. Like if someone says, oh, I have a eating disorder or whatever, but we really look at the, the symptoms that someone's experiencing. So obviously with, with, um, something like an eating disorder, I would want to dive underneath it, you know, like, are there a, like, when did it happen or when, what triggered it? Was there some, you know, an event or, um, something like that. Um, and then just to help support their overall, you know, mental well being. and there's homeopathic remedies that, that work with, with, you know, the anxiety underneath it, um, even some depression underneath it. Um, but I'd want to kind of dive under and see, you know, what was going on for the person sometimes as well. Like if someone's craving a certain, like all they want to eat is sweets, there's remedies that can kind of help support, you know, um, that craving. Um, but it's definitely something that is, you know, done in conjunction with other healthcare providers. I wouldn't say, oh, homeopathy alone can solve this problem. I, I say I could be on a team with other professionals just to help support that mental well, well-being. Um, there's also, along with the remedies I mentioned, there's Bach flower remedies that are really just like a gentle hug. <laughs> you know, you find the right one and it just can be it can really turn down the notch um, of, of the thoughts and kind of the energy behind the eating disorder. Okay. So why, why is it, it's weird. I feel like there's such a stigma around eating disorders. So, yeah. and, and people might tend to not even admit it or. 
explore options. So why is it important to get help around eating disorders? Uh, well, that's a great question. I mean, I think because of, the, of what you just said, the stigma behind it, where it's such an isolating, I, I'm, it's such an isolating um, kind of illness, right? Because people are really suffering on the inside more than you may ever know. I mean, you can look at someone and, and maybe think, oh, you know, they're thin, they might be happy, you know, you just make all these kind of judgments about it. Right. Um, but you really don't know what's going on underneath for somebody. So I think that, um, you know, that's why it's really important that you reach out and get get help, whatever that help may be, whether it's, you know, a therapist or a nutritionist, a dietitian, somebody that is really well versed in this field to be able to support you the best they can, because, yeah, it can feel very isolating. And um, and I think, too, just overall, like our culture is pretty like diet focused, you know, um, and you got to eat a certain way and, you know, I'll only eat blue food or whatever, you know, you can really get kind of locked into certain ways of eating. And I think that can really perpetuate a lot of the eating disorder behavior. And um, so it's it's almost like having to break into a new paradigm, really, around food and health and wellness. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a lot. What are yeah. some mistakes that maybe clients might make when trying to find help for getting some relief with their eating disorder? Well, I think I think the number one thing is just to 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 think it's just going to go away on its own, you know, and to not reach out and 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 get the help that they need. Um, there are a lot of resources, you know, beyond homeopathy that can help people um, if they're struggling um, with eating disorders. There's groups. There's you know individual um, ther therapists and things like that. But I think the biggest mistake is, yeah, just thinking that, well, I'll outgrow it or it's not that big of a deal, kind of kind of minimizing it, because really, especially in, in, in the youth, it's like this is the time when their bodies are building and they need the nutrients. They need, you know, the vitamins and minerals that are going to help them, you know, in their future when they have their babies or whatever it is. And so it just kind of minimizing, oh, it's not a big deal. I'll, I'll outgrow it or, you know, I'll eat when I'm. 20 or whatever, you know, like just not really taking it seriously. And then I think for families as well, it's, it's kind of one of those things and it's a hard reality, like check to go, Whoa, what's going on here in our family that, you know, maybe somebody in our family, you know, isn't doing well. And this is how it's, it's been, you know, manifesting. So, yeah. So then what, what can be done about it? Well, I think just trying to find, you know, resources, I think there is a lot more education out there about eating disorders and that people don't have to, you know, suffer alone with them. Um, you know, yeah, just trying to educate, you know, medical doctors, pediatricians, you know, that maybe sometimes people don't want to know, you know, not to tell their the children their weight or look at these different charts. Like there's just a lot of things that can go into triggering, you know, um, someone who has an eating disorder. So I think it's a lot about education. And um, luckily we have this thing called the internet that, you know, can, can, can connect people, you know, with, with the help that they need, whether they're, you know, local or, or remote. And that's one reason why I love doing remote consults is because, you know, I'm working with people all over, you know, the U.S. and being able to get them in touch with people that can help them along with, you know, the homeopathy. Oh, that's great. So if somebody would like to contact you, what's the best oh. way to contact you? Yeah, my website is probably the best way. It's samanthaconvoy.com and it's a B as in boy, um, not a V because that's, you know, a very common uh, <laughs> street here in San Diego. But yeah, that's the best way, samanthaconvoy.com. Perfect. Well, thank you so yes. much for your time. It was Thanks, awesome Jeff. to catch up. And, yes, uh, you should we'll do it again. Yes, absolutely. Right. Thanks. Uh-huh.